Good morning. It's Saturday morning, July 31st, and a little after seven o'clock in the morning. First light was about 30 minutes ago. So I decided to do weeks eight and nine of the Valhalla Warriors meal plan lifestyle change on a nature walk. Got a sunrise behind me, walking west. I'm doing the six plus mile loop today on this nature trail. I didn't do a video last week because, well, I took some notes here. Week eight, I lost uh, one pound, 30 pounds total up to this point. Two, months in and I walked 48.12 miles so I did add in some extra little exercises which would probably account for increased leg size because I was I'm still doing the isometric exercises started throwing in some wind sprints a lot of yoga type poses and stretches and things like this because I started skating again I'm going to join a men's league hockey and then this week week nine I lost an additional two pounds so after nine weeks I'm down a total of 32 pounds and so far I've walked 47.22 miles for the week, Monday through Friday. And I've said in previous videos that I don't count the weekends, but I think to get to where I want to be, I'm going to have to start increasing my activity on Saturday, Sunday and counting it. So then that way I know I'm putting in at least a certain level of a minimum. Uh, yard work and things like that weed whacking and mowing you can't really count that but how do you count how many calories you burned doing things like that but anyway let me know your progress in the comments or private message me the things that I've included in week nine have been uh, stairs haven't done any abs haven't done any weights Continuing with the isometrics, stretches, uh, yoga type poses, but I've included stairs. And when I say stairs, I'm, I don't run the stairs. I'm, I'm ensuring that my leg muscles do the work. I go up them backwards, sideways, up and down, uh, regular. So this way, my leg muscles are getting the stress from each direction. going to pause for a moment and listen to nature. It's important to remember when we're out in nature, we're in their house. The spirits that dwell here on a permanent basis. Brother Coyote ancestor bear brother deer and as pagans we need to get back to a point where that's how we refer to our animal brothers and sisters the hawk the eagle the osprey the wolf reconnect ourselves to the brother and sisterhood that they all once were to our ancestors. Learn from them. I'll pick this up a little bit later. What I'm doing now is I'm heading up to a little stream that we called Sarge Stream. It had dried up early spring. We've been getting some rain lately, so I'm going to see if it's 
flowing again so we can bring Sergeant up here and let him go for a, a little dip in this stream. I'll pick it up in a little bit. Okay, I just turned off my GoPro. I got two white-tailed deer sitting here looking at me. Beautiful. There's one. And there's the other one coming into the field over here on the right. Just right there. Just had its flag up. It was a little bit closer to the road. This is all tore up from wild hogs in here, both sides of the trail. In here, rooting around. Back there, that was, that was, some, that was some fresh stuff too. We're almost up the Sarge stream. Oh, Sergeant's going to be happy. Sarge stream is no longer dry. This is his favorite play spot right here. Outstanding. Okay, when I stop, mosquitoes like to gather, but we have Brother Crow in that tree. And I just saw Brother Hawk fly into another tall pine on the other side, but I gotta keep moving. Because mosquitoes do collect quickly. Now, Sarge Stream, that was three quarters of a mile in. And this is just a connecting path or roadway. Take us to the other section of the Red Trail, or East Trail, they call it. That's a pretty cool looking tree there. Okay, we've got more wild hogs rooting around there. Up over here more as well. On the right hand side of the trail. Okay, walked up off the trail for a minute here because that's the main branch of Sarge Creek. Oh, I've been running from deer flies. They're catching me. They're getting the best of me. Got some really cool trees back up in here, over here, and then some down over in here. Okay, it's 7.47, and uh, I just saw another deer up here on the bend. He was looking right at me as I came around the bend behind me. Let's see if I can get him on film here, but, or her. My boots are soaked right through. Been kind of soggy out lately. I've gone just over two miles so far. Uh, see, there it goes. Oh, shoot. He's flying. There it goes. He's moving right along. You probably heard me talking. I'm gonna have to cut this hike short, I think. I'm expecting a delivery today and I thought it was gonna be here later in the morning and I was just notified that I'm only three stops away, so I don't know if I'm gonna make the full six miles. I may have to come out here another time and just do some exploring. 801, and I was just notified my delivery has two stops before me 
and I've got about a mile and a half to get out, so I picked up the pace a little bit in my boots that weigh three times as much. So, I'm heading out, and this is where I'm gonna close this Valhalla Warriors meal plan video. Let me know in the comment section below how you're doing. Anyway, until next time, or Teal's Nesta Gong. Good health stuff.